What's going on? <clears throat> What's going on, Cardinal Nation? Well, what a very tough loss today, as we lose two two to one <clears throat> to the uh, Cleveland Indians in twelve innings uh, in the second game of this three game series, um, as we officially now lost four in a row, and yeah, this was a a tough game. Um, two one. Um, in twelve innings, it was well well pitched. That was for sure. Um, yeah. Um, and you know, I'm I'm glad though that you know it was a one run game after the, the Indians got fourteen runs. Uh, Friday night, fourteen runs on twenty hits. And, yeah, and now we only had two runs on, I think, six hits in this one. So, um, yeah, so Cleveland will go up one and I think the second batter of the game, Jose Ramirez, a solo home run off of Jack Flaherty. It's his seventh home run of the year. That would put them up one nothing. And then after that, Flaherty was, was great. He would go five innings. And give up just that that run, um, and after that, only I think two other hits um, left the game with I think eighty five pitches. So he was very good, uh, you know, after giving up that home run in the first. So I was uh, happy about that. Um, and Indians pitcher Carlos Carrasco uh, was very good. Who was Basically, I think they're number two starter uh, behind uh, Shane Bieber. Um, so, uh, and then we would tie it at one RBI double by Matt Carpenter. Now we're tied at one. And then the bottom of the ninth, we had the bases loaded. Um, but uh, I believe it was Tommy Edmond that would pop up, send the game to extra innings. And um, we would then have runners on in the 10th. Um, so they won't score, let's send it to, you know, to the 11th. And then top of the 12th, he needs to go up to one RBI double by Tyler Nacorn off of uh, Alex Reyes. And that will put the Indians up to one. And then the bottom of the 12th, we had a chance to possibly tie it. With Matt Carpenter up and Molina on third, um, and instead Carpenter would ground out to first. Uh, the first baseman would make the play for the out, and then Molina would would somehow be in a run down between between third and home. And well, apparently I could tell that he thought that it was a foul ball that Carpenter hit because. It definitely looked like it was possibly going to be foul, uh, but that was that was a, a big mistake and at the worst time too in extra innings and on the final play of the game. So yeah, that was a uh, that was tough. So but um yeah, so twelve inning game. Um, this is our first game that we've played in extra innings this year. And of course, the new extra inning rule is that uh, the inning starts with the runner on second base. Um, with no runner that leading off the inning or a pinch runner if the coach decides to do that. So I actually do kind of like that new rule. I don't know if they'll be doing it for next year. So, but... Yeah, so for the finale of the series and homestand Sunday afternoon, we will have Adam Wainwright on the mound, the veteran, against Aaron Savali for the Indians. Um, and Wainwright, his last two starts have been very good. He's both gone seven innings, and we both won those games, I believe. No, actually, I think we lost his last start. Tuesday against the Royals, so, but, um, yeah, so we'll see what happens on 
Sunday, 1 o'clock. Before we go on the road for, I think, six games. So, until Sunday from, I'm guessing, go-karts.